And well, I'm glad to meet this King Curly here right now. Yeah, well. Billy King Curly. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, my name's Steve. I, otherwise known as King Curly. When was King Curly born? Uh, <clears throat> Well, um, I write songs and sort of fudge my way through by uh, singing, kind of. And during that time, I tried to imagine that I was more important than what I actually was. I needed that to stay alive. So I created this character, this sort of uh, underground monarch, and called him King Curly. Uh, the, the brains behind this project. And the brawn will be introduced to soon. How long, you know, how long did you stay She's straight jar while King Curl was in there kicking? Yeah, way, way too long, really. I, um, <clears throat> about 10 years, really. Uh, it, it always takes me a long time to get the message that I have to force my, uh, when, when I finally realised I had to force myself into the music, commit myself to the music by getting out of my paid job. Curly he wouldn't let you rest. He wouldn't let you rest, yeah. Did he have a visual component too? Like, uh, I see some of the uh, drawings and pictures of the Yeah, book. yeah, well, I guess. Your hand too? Yeah, I guess all of those those pictures on the albums and whatnot are attempts to sort of draw. He's sort of eccentric, uh, kind of character. He's a, he's a bit of a, he's kind of meek, I guess. A humble king. But he stands up. So, so he sort of was who I was in that office. A humble king. Sort of like a clock king. But in the multidimensional like places they get to go in their music. Going on. Sort of. When did King Curly first come out your mouth to somebody else? Um, I, I guess he came out to myself uh, just through writing songs, you know. So at home, you know, I write songs. I realized I could write songs quite early on. And that was like 2001 or even earlier? Oh, no, earlier than that. I realized that I had a gift for doing that. Early in um, yeah. Yeah. But King Curly. So that, that was King Curly, you know, that was the bit that I could tell was good, and the rest, yeah. the rest of it I didn't like. And King then, that, then I had to take that to the yeah. performance yeah. stage, that was another step again. Now we got King Curly going out there, and he's pulling the court together. And I'm thinking of Zoe, I'm thinking of John, and maybe I'll think of a couple other people. How did you get this court together? Now, I like what you were saying here about how you met John. I was such a sincere fan. Can you just say that again? Well, I met, I met John just by chance in a bar. He'd come to, he'd come to see me play uh, with a friend, with a friend of John's. And uh, John was very drunk. So I tried to get away from him as quickly as I could. All right. Uh, good afternoon, my name's John. I play trombone and sing back and vocals with King Curly. But he, in the time that he sort of slobbered something all over me and gave me a coaster, a video coaster with a phone number on it, saying that he was a last player. He really wants to be with you. He could sort of play with you. How'd you get in there, Zoe? How'd you get in there? Taking a chance with that coaster wouldn't get smudged and uh, <laughs> misunderstand. Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm the bassist in King Curly. <laughs> How did you get into the court? Actually, through my husband, who's a drummer. Um, yeah. He, Evan Manel, okay. he um, was living with John at the time, and they went all through school together. And I knew him through music. We weren't married at the time, we were just playing music together, I was in the same scene or whatever, and he's like, I think I've got you, but he rings me up and says, I think I've got you a gig with this band, King Curly. It's really good. And I'm like, yeah, you know, like, yes, then, yes, yes. And then I met Steve, and it was really good. Okay. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, started, that was a while ago now. Um, yeah, check us out. I hope you like our music.